We got the Kaiser Paragon in 3V. Uh, we went live last night, and someone requested the Kaiser Paragon in 3, or Kaiser 3V specifically, be uh, Rockwell tested. We did do a Rockwell test, but since then, I have got this thing tuned in properly. Uh, so we were setting at about a quarter of a point to a half a point off. So we're going to test it two more times. The first number come up to be 60. Um, and that was with me adding an HRC to it. So it's actually reading 59. So let's go ahead. We're going to test it on this flat here. It's flat on the other side as well. In fact, we'll just go ahead and test this side because this side already has a ding in it. Um, not sure if that'll show up, but it's about right there. So, um, we'll go ahead and wipe this blade off and we will test two more times. I'll be having a lot of fun with this thing. If you guys, uh, have anything you want tested, let me know. If I've got it, I'll test it. If I don't, you can send it to me and I'll test it free of charge. All right, let's back it up. I don't like the way that happened. Okay, there we go, perfect. <laughs> So uh, when we load, we have to wait like seven seconds uh, after the the unloading dial stops moving before we completely unload it. And we're at 60 and a half. Okay, let's go a little higher. That indention is right there at the bottom of that flat. Don't. I don't like all these mirrors in here, but this is the flattest part of this flattest cabinet we had, or a uh, countertop that we had. This machine needs to be in like a, a constant 70 degrees for testing. So it can't go in the shop because my shop is not air conditioner and heated. But I'll try to do something about these mirrors. This is a vanity. And the reason why people uh, give a range is because you don't always get the same number. And you know, it's crazy because there's a lot of variables, you know, like this, uh, uh, some of those variables go into uh, the fact that the heat treat might not be completely even. Um, so if you test it here, I was right now like we're getting uh, that's 62. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's 61, 61 on the, on the dot. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna say that would be in a range of uh, 60 to 62. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, this knife has been an excellent performer. Have had absolutely no issues with it. Very comfortable. Uh, it's an extra mini Paragon, the one they did with the uh, DNK. No, I can't remember. I can't remember who they did it with. Um, White Mountain, I believe. White Mountain knives. Uh, yeah. Anyway, RSK Knife Forks design. I've got a full video on the review. And uh, there's your heat treat results. And that's a very good number for 3V. Uh, if it was a thicker blade stock and it was going to be something you were going to use outside, I would actually like to see it around 58 or 59. Yeah, personally. But... Edge retention goes, it's a good number, and it's a, it's a great grind on the knife as well, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the bulk of the belly there is, is going to be a hollow grind. It's a, it's a compound grind. Uh, got flat up here at the tanto, flat back here for whatever reason, uh, but you got a nice recurved hollow grind right here, and this thing just performs. But anyway, that's your video. You guys have a great one. Uh, like I said, anything tested? I'd love to build an archive of these videos, you know, just for curiosity's sake. And uh, of course, I don't have access to every knife out there, but the knives that I do have access to, we'll get a video up. So if uh, you want to be a part of this, 
uh, you'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, it's no cost to you. Pay shipping. You know, get them to me. And uh, if you want to test it on the tank, like back here, where the pivot, you know, the pivot goes around, that's not a problem. Just disassemble the knife, send it to me, and uh, and we'll test it back here where the hole, the the divots are hidden. But I'm not really concerned about that. Not with my user knives. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the flip side.